name's Dexter. I'm a Great Dane. My owners are Lily and Brian, the parents. Then we have the kids. Beckett is 14, Jared's 12, and Evan's 10. They adopted me when Evan turned six. I was at the animal shelter before they got me. I went to the animal shelter when my evil old owner left me. But now, I have the best family ever. Oh, and everyone's happy and not worried about the big lump on mom's belly. I heard them say, I'm having a girl, and we should name her Emma. Well, they're all happy, so I guess it's good. Yay, a girl, I said. Good boy, Dexter, Jared told me. I jumped on him and he fell on the thing with fluffy stuff that you sit on. I call it a pillow sitter, but they call it a couch. He started to laugh. Boys, go out to the bus stop, Dad told the boys. Then they left and got a, a big yellow thing with lots of people, and Mom and Dad left and got into a smaller black thing. Time to take a nap. You're home, I yelled at the yellow thing. Evan walked out. Hi, Dexter, he said. Beckett's at football practice and Jared's at soccer practice. I like how Evan's a person who isn't always busy. Jared and Beckett are always busy. I jumped on Evan and licked his face. He rubbed my ears. Ah, that's what I call luxury. Day two. I'm walking down a hill right now. Behind our house, there's a big hill, and at the bottom of it, there's another neighborhood. I thought that I should explore the other neighborhood, so that's what I'm doing right now. By the time I get back, I bet Barrett, Jacket and Barrett, Beckett and Jared will be home. Hi, Dexter, said my friend, Nashville. Nashville's a mud. So, did you hear the news? I asked. What? Mom's having a girl, I exclaimed. Whoa, Nashville answered. What does that mean? I don't know. Well, I have to go explore. Bye. Bye. I see a little girl over there. I should say hi. Hi. Oh, Mommy, she screamed. I jumped on her and started licking her face. Her mom ran and picked her up. It's okay, honey, it's just a dog, she told her. Just a dog? What's that supposed to mean? I'm the most amazing dog ever. Whoa, that girl's crying and that mom's rude, so I'm going home. Dad's home with, Dad's home with Jared and Beckett. Hi guys, I told them. Hey boy, Beckett told me. Mom walked out and said, Beckett, you're in charge. Dave, we're having this baby. They left and I decided to go inside. They turned on the box with people on it, and I decided to sit next to them on the couch. Day three, mom and dad came home today. I'm super mad. It's not because they're home. That evil small girl that mom holds is horrible. I have to be locked up in my cage all day. When I get out, I'm going after her. <laughs> what was her name? Oh yeah, Emma. Emma Grimm will never be a friend to me. Day four. No! Emma's an evil person. When the boys got off the bus, instead of revving my ears and talking to me, they started hugging and kissing Emma. That person's going down. <laughs> Mom set her down. Yes! Time to play. I ran up to her and made sure that I tackled her like I meant it. Wah! Emma screamed. That's more like it. Dexter, Mom yelled. Boys, watch Emma. Dexter, you're going to your cage. Not again. Day 12. I'm sad and I'm lonely. I've been in my cage for over a week now. I've only left it for walks, and Jared puts food inside my bowl, which is inside my cage. Okay, Dexter, Dad told me. I'll let you out as long as you don't hurt Emma. <sighs> like I would do that again. I walked up to Beckett, and he was holding something and pointing it at the box. The box had a person in a black thing, like what mom and dad have. Well, I crashed, Beckett sighed. Hey, Dexter. Hey, I replied. I jumped off the couch. Emma walked over and gave me a hug. I think I like her. Day 13, we took family pictures today. I had to take a bath. Most of my friends hate baths, but I like them. Well, the pictures look good. I love my life. It's the best life, the life of a dog, the end. Thank you.